بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed us with so many ni'am, so many blessings that we can't even begin to count them. And from two of the very important blessings that the Prophet sallallahu spoke about, which are what? The blessing of time and the blessing of your health. And that those two things we should use to the best of our ability for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, worshiping Him, doing good deeds, staying away from those things which are prohibited exercising our taqwa and our iman. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, An ibn Abbasin radiyallahu ta'ala anhuma qala qala rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ni'matani maghboon fihima kathirin min al-nas as-siha wa firaq ruahu Bukhari The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam said that there are two things that many of the people are take lightly and are unaware of and are wasteful with he said asiha wa firaq meaning that your health and your free time because when you are young and your body is able you can worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala better it's easier for you to make hajj it's easier for me, you to make umrah. It's easier for you to do extra prayer. It's easier for you to do qiyam al-layl. It's easier for you to fast when you have your health and when you are youth, you, 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 you're young. And time is invaluable because time is one of the few things that we have if we use it uh, in righteousness in this life. That yes, sometimes a person is blessed with wealth, but they don't have time to use the wealth. And there's no barakah in their time or their wealth. But if you have time, you have time to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Time to do righteous deeds. Time to see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's beautiful creation, His vast creation. And that's a ni'mah from Allah. To be used in righteousness and khayr. And we ask Allah the Almighty to bless us to use our time in a manner that suits, uh, in a manner that pleases Him subhanahu wa ta'ala. And may Allah forgive us of our many sins. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.